YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid. It's your boy, Big Gap. Today I'm out in front of the house driving the Serpent Cobra MTE running 6S. Uh, just to take this, this video is not about the Cobra. This video is about the Futaba 7PX. So I just want to get it out here, man, and see how it responds. Seen the turn pretty swiftly. Uh, just get it out and test it, man. Just doing a quick test on it. That's all, fellas. So I'll just be talking about the remote. Actually, I've been out here for a few minutes before I started the video and seem to be seem to be handling pretty good. Seem to be very responsive. Let's see from zero. You don't have a lot of lag. And I don't even, you have to excuse the wind noise, fellas. I don't even have the response, the response, the super response, I don't have, I don't have that on right now. Uh, I have to do a little bit more reading into it. If any of you guys know, maybe you can help me out. I have to do some more reading into it. Um, when I cut the super response on, the wheels just go to one side and stay. So I, I don't know whether I need to go into settings and maybe the end points is set for it to go all the way right or whatever. I mean, not the end points, the trim is set to the right. I don't know, but I really haven't had a chance to look in there and see. But I am, but so far, man, it's, so far it's doing, doing well, man. It's doing pretty good. It's definitely sensitive to touch. So as soon as you turn it, it's gonna turn. And I'm, I'm, I'm noticing when you on throttle quick, you now some of the controllers have that slight lag, but this one, when you on throttle quick, it just responds immediately. <laughs> it's a, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. I need to get a stronger servo for this, this car. I know the video is not about this car, but. Cause I like it with these belted tires, but with the belted tires, it kind of make it kind of makes that servo go a little crazy sometimes, and I also need to stiffen up my shocks. I think they're a little too bouncy. I think that has a lot to do with those wheels keep turning like that as well. Like you almost you almost have to straighten the truck back out on your arm. But this truck right here is a monster. The remote is super responsive. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I am going to do a range test now that I have three different remotes. I'm going to do a range test uh, with the Futaba. The, uh, do a range test with the Futaba, the Spectrum, and the Fly Sky. I just need to get my, uh, get my nephews, man, my older nephews here so they can help me out. So it's gonna be a pretty tough video to do by myself. But once I get a little help here, I'm gonna do that video. I have a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline, fellas. Just hold tight, man. I got a lot of good stuff, a lot of ideas. I'm gonna do a speed run on this truck. I wonder how fast this truck can actually go. Pull throttle. See how it's pulling? It's pulling to one side with them big, them big meats on here. Stronger servo. I handled that though. <laughs> Remote doing well though, fellas. Doing well. Alright, fellas, just a quick vid. Testing my Futaba 7PX. Did pretty well out here today. I'm looking forward to getting out with this one a little bit more. Uh, I have two cars hooked up to it so far. Uh, I have another receiver. I don't know which car I'm gonna put it in, but yeah, it's it's, it's, it's working well so far. Working well so far. So appreciate y'all watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. YouTube, and I'm in it.